to see. I mean, I really don't care. Oh. oh my gosh, why are they so <laughs> sensitive? Welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I am making a very fun under the sea balloon garland setup. I am leaving my house and I'm going to my brother's house again. They have the perfect spot for this setup. I am working with their playground and they have this slide and this little house and this ladder so literally it looks like a ship to me i don't know why so enjoy the video i will link and list everything in the description under this video and without any further ado let's go first things first i am going to else paper boutique on etsy like usual to get all of my templates i am looking for three templates today i am going for this ship wheel and this anchor ship wheel i printed in two sizes i printed in two feet and three feet because i am not sure which one will fit my setup better and then the anchor i believe i printed in three feet also the squirrel right here i printed in four feet and i will be working from four feet i'll explain later so my printed templates are here let's go assemble and i will show you what i will be doing next it's not going to be your typical balloon mosaic let's go after assembling my template on the floor i am taping my papers together and cutting it out my corals I went outside into the garage because I want to use expanding foam you guys there's a reason for it I couldn't find any of the foam boards I checked several stores and I only found two foam boards it's not enough for what I need for this video so I did my research and I decided to try expanding foam why not right i feel like it's gonna look so so good corals with expanding foam and i will be coloring them in different colors so that's another thing that is super exciting so let's try this out i have my cutout template on the ground i'm gonna line this template with wax paper expanding foam that i will be using today my husband bought it for me from lois i guess how, how much is one can? Uh, three or four dollars. Three, four dollars per can. I have no idea how many cans I would need because I am planning to make more corals in different sizes. So we'll see how many cans I would need for this video. That's it? I'm doing something wrong. Alec, is this little? Uh, you're doing something wrong. Okay, something's wrong with this one. <laughs> oh this gosh. is not the coral. <laughs> no, don't mess it up. Okay, I can't. I can. <laughs> That's a nice coral. <laughs> it doesn't even stick. Wait, don't do. Don't mess it up. I like the squirrel. Oh no, totally off camera. Basically, what I'm doing, I am just following the template. I am not trying to cover the whole thing. I am trying to at least follow the design of the coral, that's it. Cool fam bam decided to join me in the garage because it's so interesting. So I am letting this dry on the ground and I'm moving to another spot to make more corals. So I don't know how long it's going to take for this to dry but definitely tomorrow i will be spray painting them in different colors i'm so excited and of course one coral is not enough so i am making many more corals in different sizes without a template 
my corals are drying i am back inside cutting out my ship wheel in anchor out of paper and here i am working with foam already i'm cutting all the details out and gluing everything together using high temperature glue gun same concept as balloon mosaics but only difference is i am not adding borders it's time to peel my corals off so literally just take the paper and peel it off paper peeled off very easy but my suggestion is to add dowels into your coral when you're drawing out the shape for more stability of the whole structure came to do the grass so I had to scratch the spray painting of my corals for now so right now I am working on my anchor I am taking this metallic silver uh, paint and I will be painting with the brush and I will be adding a whole bunch of silver glitter just to make it a little bit fun you want to work in sections here you need to have wet paint to sprinkle your glitter on once the paint is dry glitter won't stick and it will go everywhere miracle i had enough spray paint to cover the whole wheel at least i don't see any big white spots so like usual you guys i think i have something but i don't <laughs> that's terrible so let's move on to our corals when spray painting corals make sure you get every nook and cranny you don't want to see any white foam and i absolutely love how bright and vibrant these colors are by the way, I bought all of my spray paint from Walmart. Quickly go through this box first and then we'll move on to a second box that I have next to it. So I have inflatables here like the crab and sea stars and uh, seahorses. I used them in one of my previous videos. I also have this awesome looking net i have this um i totally forgot what it is but <laughs> i bought a hat as well i thought i would uh, have time to take pictures with my setup as a captain but i feel like uh, i'm not gonna be able to do that because it's supposed to rain if not i will definitely do a mini photo shoot with everything that I bought for myself then i have these lights i'm not sure if i will be using them i'll let you know throughout the video i have some of the sea stars in different sizes i have some foiled balloons like fun balloons seahorses and exotic fish and also red orbs balloons for pop of color in my balloon garments so and this is the pile of balloons that i'm planning to use so i am working with tuftix today so let's start from this side i have gray smoke in 17 11 and 5 fog 5 24 11 and 17 blue 5 11 24 and 17 as well and turquoise in 5 17 and 11. all right ready to inflate my balloons let's start with this great smoke i've been grabbing 17 and 11 inch balloons first i might use five inch balloons later or inflate a few quads just to have them so i am grabbing 11 and 17 and inflating them at the same time if you want your balloons to be more rounder than they are right now, press your balloons against the floor to give them more rounder shape. You don't have to do this, it's absolutely optional. Then after you decide if you wanna press your balloons against the floor or not, you need to tie your balloons together into a pair. I am tying these balloons pretty close together, as you can see here, because I need these next to be nice and stretchy because we will be using them in construction of our balloon garland i will be also grabbing just 11 inch balloons and inflating them into different sizes once i have four pairs of balloons i am starting to interwind them together or you can inflate your balloons right away and then 
um, quad and cluster them a little bit later. So I interwined my two pairs of balloons pretty nice and tight together, grabbing a third pair of balloons and interwining everything once again nice and tight. Grabbing our fourth pair and adding into this cluster of balloons to create a bigger cluster of balloons. And you'll end up having something like this. So keep on inflating, keep on uh, pairing, clustering, playing around with sizing. I won't be mixing all of the colors together. I will be color blocking the whole thing today. So let's go. I feel like I'm always rushing with the weather. I am looking outside and it's so cloudy. I hope it's not going to start pouring because uh, it's not supposed to till 4. And now it's 12.35, so we'll see. Mm. my balloons for now. I am transporting everything to my brother's house. I will be doing this installation on a playground and I feel like it's going to be the perfect spot on that playground for this setup. So I inflated as many balloons that I could fit in the car. I only have two bags. I usually have more than that so I could have inflated more and just take several trips back and forth and transport everything because it is so hot and humid outside and I don't want to sit uh, for too long outside. Let's pack it in into the car and transport everything. I'll take, as I said, a few trips, but uh, I'll get it done. To construct my balloon garland, I am using necks of balloons. I am reaching in and finding those really nice and stretchy necks like right here and tying these necks together. You will be repeating the same exact process of constructing your balloon garland until you'll be happy with the size of your balloon garland. I am going back and forth to the playground to measure the size of my balloon garland. Once I am happy with the size, I am taking my fishing line and tying my balloon structure to the playground. To give my balloon garland more volume and structure, I am adding extra clusters of balloons by tying them to my balloon garland with necks of balloons from my clusters. You can use 260s balloons or rubber bands. Here I am adding accent color to my balloon garland. I didn't want to put a lot of gray, but enough to break down turquoise and blue. Adding a mini balloon garland on the opposite side to balance everything out, doing exactly the same thing with this mini balloon garland, what I did with my bigger balloon garland. Hey, hello. Привет. Hi, hi. <laughs> To inflate my foil balloons, I am using a foil inflator from LP Balloons. It saves me so much time. Love this thing. So cute. Under the sea. This is my favorite part, adding details to my setups. I am using fishing line to attach extra things like ship wheel and a net. And for my anchor, I used glue dashes. What did you find, oh. Victor? Salamanders. It's not really focusing, but you can tell that they're there. Okay, don't touch it. Okay. Coral time, it's better to have pointy dowels. It will be easier to insert dowels into the ground. To attach foil balloons, I am using glue dashes. Love glue dashes. Glue dashes held my foil balloons very well, even in the humid weather. Here I am adding extra balloon to give more support to my seahorse. Last second, decided to make a chain for my anchor. Let me tell you, line your grass with something. These 260s balloons are way too sensitive. I am simply inflating 260s, tying two ends together to create a circle, inflating more 260s, and looping balloons to create a chain. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh. Wait, you guys, just watch this. I really don't care. Oh. oh my gosh, why are they so <laughs> sensitive? Oh, I like lost my book. <laughs> <laughs> That was kind of funny, like fireworks. <laughs> Lost the footage, I need to stop doing that, but I simply used glue dashes to attach my chain to my balloon garland. I simply put my sea stars on balloons without gluing them. Literally, no joke, last second added this tool that I had with me to create kind of like waves and added blue uplighting to give that blue wave look. Moment of truth. what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and most of all inspiring. If it was, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. They always help. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will try my best to help you out as soon as I can and to the best of my abilities. If you're new here, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button down below for more videos and great ideas and i hope all of you will have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye